ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ಮಿತಂಗೇನಸ್ಮೈಶ್ರೀಗುರುವೀನಾಮೋಮಹಾವಲನ್ನಾಯೃಷ್ಣಪ್ರೇಮಾಯ
in the same way also we are human being we also engage our four things eating sleeping defending and maintain but human beings men those who also to <coughs> practice and inquire their spiritual life so lord ramchandra in this way he also established varnashram dharma in our puran also explain varnashram achrata bata purushe na parapaman vishnu aradh dei pantha nannot nannot tat so karanam vishnu means lord vishnu krishna Uh, narayan he will be placed one who follows the rules and regulation of varnashram dharma when in simad bhagavad gita krishna also <coughs> says to arjuna chatur varna maya system guna karma vibhagasha i manifested the four uh, caste and race and and uh, also varnan ashram brahman chatra vaishya sudra and, and brahmachari grihastha banprastha and sanyasi and according to th- their qualities they will belong to that the caste and race varna and ashram that is called the daiva varna ashram so lord ramchandra in this way also taught to us how to um, follow the varnashram dharma and he also destroys the uh, asuras philosophy eh? demon demon philosophy demon philosophy m- means that they have no faith with lord they are called the complete uh, atheist renam kritva bhitam pivit javat jivit tavat sukhet vasi bhuta dhyasya kuta punaragata eh? that means demon philosophy is that the uh, anyhow it to maintain your life and, and you also and uh, to disturb to others as you like to fulfill all your sense gratification if you have no money and anything you can cheat to others and you can loan to others no need, no need to back the money loan money to others okay yeah. because they have no faith about the spiritual life and yeah. so that is called the demonic idea but lord ramchandra for this regard he killed that kind of de- demon among the demons uh, that is called best demon that is called ravana so lord ramchandra he killed the ravan and his associates parikars so in the ramayan actual explain uh, established these things and arjapath and destroy the anarjapath arjap arjapath means the path of arjo that will those who follow the rules and regulation of the scriptures and perform bhajan sadhan to lord that is called arjapath or anarjapath those who are completely atheist and engaged to enjoying the sense gratification and disturb to others that is called anarjapath so now coming in this way, balmiki rishi who manifested this Ram, ramayan by the causeless mercy of narad rishi and also brahma ji balmiki before a uh, balmiki actual he was the son of chaban rishi and that means brahman son but that that time his name was ratnakar he associated with the mundane people then he became the dacoit so for this regard his name was and dacoit ratnakar dasu ratnakar and he in this way he also maintained his life for once narad rishi met with him and changed his life and, and he chant the holy names in opposite way opposite means that that means he was sinner for this regard he could not chant the holy names ram so now this he told you can chant the name the opposite syllables uh, ram that is called mo ra and mo ram 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 then automatically ram ram coming so um 
Ramcharit Manas Tulsidas, he also glorified about um, Balmiki Rishi, Ultra Nam Jagat Jagadan Jana Balmiki Bhai Brahma Shamana. And Balmiki, and he also chanted the holy names and opposite syllables. syllables. That means Ramo, but he could not chant Ram, he chanted the opposite syllable, like a Mora. Uh, mora, 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 then automatically coming Ram, Ram, Ram. Uh, so say Ultra Nam Jagat Jagadan Jana Balmiki Bhai. Brahma Samana. Uh, so in this way, Palmiki is Ramcharit Manas Tulsidas also glorified the how is the powerful of the holy names. And thousand thousand years, so he chanted that may Balmiki he chanted holy names Ramnam. Then his body covered with the one kinds of insects that is called. Uh, Balmik, Balmik means one kind of insects, um, and to cover his body with the earth, mud. Then, and he chanted, then his body, and then his body body only the bone. Um, then, demigod, demigodies give the rain, heavy rain, then all the mud um, go, go away from his body, um, and then by the causeless mercy of Lord, then he returned back his consciousness for this his body covered with the mud of the insects of Balmi. For this regard, his name is called also Balmiki. So Balmiki, then he also famous Balmiki Rishi. Says of Balmiki, Balmiki Rishi. Then once Balmiki Rishi, he was taking bath in the river of Tamosha, and that time he saw that two. Uh, birds, male and female, female couple, that is called the Kroncho Fokshi. C and um, what is the male. Both they were loving to each other, and, and but in the meantime, one hunter, and he also suited and, and killed the male Kroncho bird. And then Kroncho bird left his his body, then female conjubar, Kromcho, bird, and also become very upset, and, and are shedding tears, looking towards Balmiki Rishi. Then, then Balmiki Rishi's heart melted, and with a love and affection, and then Balmiki Rishi, he gave the curse that the hunter, the Jima Nisado, Pratishtang Tomogomo, Sasati Sama Jat Kruncho Mithunadivo Kamo Bodhi Kamo Mohita. That means that he Nisad, he hunter, and you, you killed the male Kruncho bars without reason. So this is your comment, your score, offense of wrath. In this offense of wrath, in your life, you will never. And get happiness. Just this look was manifested from his tongue. Then Narodrishi, eh, Balmigrishi turned back his ashram, his mind very disturbed because he was thinking, I am sadhu, why I to absorb with the material things? And in this material world, if all the living entities they are suffering or enjoying with their own fruits of action, karma follow. And every living entity, they are suffering their own fruits of action and karma. That is called Sukha and Dukha, happiness and unhappiness. I am Sadhu, why I tend to take part uh, or involve with the um, birds? His mind also in this way disturbed. In the meantime, Brahmaji manifested in his heart and Brahmaji told him, Balmigrisi, don't uh, uh, no, no. Uh, Brahmaji told hey, Balmigrisi, don't worry. Uh, actually, this is by Yogamaya, and by Yogamaya, actually, this sloka is manifested from your mouth. In this sloka, you also manifest the whole stories of Ram, Ramachandra and uh, Ramayana. Uh, 
here the here significant that is called the uh, Nisad means that the hunter is the personification of Ravan and and Kruncho, Kruncho Pakshi that means that the two words are Ram and Sita. So Ravan kidnapped Sita Devi and, and in this way you also manifest the, the Ramayan, Ram Katha. So by the causeless mercy of Narad Rishi and Brahmaji, Balmik Rishi, he realized whole Ramayan in his heart. Then he manifested the Ramayan. So Balmiki Ramayan is called the origin and Ramayan. And this Balmiki Ramayan has written in Sanskrit verse. Is Sanskrit verse and eh? Sanskrit. But that is called Devanagari. So now coming in this way, Srimad Bhagavatam, Sukhdev Goswami Path also told to Parikhid Maharaj about the two dynasties of which uh, is called Chandravangsa and Surjavangsa. Kotito Vangso Vistaru Sumu Sujo Parma Adhuto Chaitram. So in the dynasty of Sun God, Lord Ramachandra, he appeared. In the dynasty of Chandra, Moon dynasty, Krishna, he appeared. So Krishna, Krishna Lila, Ram Lila is very beautiful and attractive. So in the same way, Sukhdev so Goswami Path very briefly then to glorify Ram Lila Katha in Srimad Bhagavatam also. In the dynasty of Ikhaku Bangsha, that means in the dynasty of uh, Sun God, there was one very powerful king, Prabhapsali king, his name was Ikhaku, and in the dynasty also one pious king came. A, a pious king appeared, his name was Rohu. So in this dynasty also Ramchandra has come. So for this regard, Ramchandra name is called also Raghava. Yeah, because Ramchandra he came in the dynasty of Rohu. For this regard, his name is called Raghava. And in his dynasty also um, Dilip and other king also came and finally the Swat Maharaj he came and and the Swat Maharaj son that is called Ramachandra so Ramachandra is one name is called also Dasa Rathi Dasat Maharaj his name Dasarath Maharaj means he conquered the ten direction with his what is called eh? with his Shakti and eh? potency and his uh, a chariot eh? Moved all over uh, all over the direction. For this regard, his name is called Dasarath. Yes. Yeah. So Dasarath Maharaj he is very powerful king. But Dasarath Maharaj, when he was young, um, he had uh, he also um, to went to the hunting the animals in the forest. Uh, these things also um, explained in Ramayan. And when he was young. Then he was very expert in the archery, eh? and without looking the animals, the sound coming, then he can then kill and shoot the animals. That is called sabda ban. Sabda ban means without looking the animals eh? or any person, he can then eh? shoot and kill the the eh? animals. Eh? So once Dasarath Maharaj, he went in the forest to hunting the animals and that time about night time and that time Dasarath Maharaj, he was sitting, then he heard some sound is coming. Then Dasarath Maharaj, he was thinking, oh, maybe deer are coming to drinking the water. Then, then Dasarath Maharaj, he also suited that the arrows that name is called Sabda Ban. Sabda means sound, Ban means arrow. And understand? Sabda Ban. And so Dasrath Maharaj without watching and the person or animals, he suited the Sabda Ban. And but that is when the when Dasrath Maharaj he suited the Sabda Ban and then then and one and 
son of Rishi. Then the, his name was uh, what is called? Um, I forget his name. And that is called son of blind Rishi's son, Andhamani Putra. And so actually he was uh, taking the water in the uh, pitcher. And, and when he was taking the water from the river in his pitcher, then also making this sound and as like the sound of the deer drinking the water. You understand? When deer drinking the water, also making the sound, hmm? same, sound. same sound. When if you put the water in the pitcher, the same sound. So Dasarath Maharaj was thinking this is also uh, deer drinking the water. So Dasarath Maharaj when suited and that uh, that time uh, what is his name? The blind Rishi's son uh, suited. Uh, uh, then he was uh, feeling so much pain. Then Dasarath Maharaj came and Dasa Maharaj he became very surprised. Uh, and that time Dasarath Maharaj thinking what will do now? Uh, that time that's the son, uh, the blind son, uh, the blind Rishi son, his name, eh? he told uh, my parents, my father and mother, they are very eager to drink the water, so you have to uh, bring water for him and also uh, punish Bilado to make the drink to the water. So that's uh, in this way then that boy he left his body then the Srat Maharaj he brought uh, the dead body uh, of the Muniputra the son yes. of blind Rishi and also pitcher full of water uh, brought at that time Muni Rishi that is called that's uh, blind Rishi they are waiting for his son and the Srat Maharaj's body start to what is called Shake, shake, shake. Tremble. tremble, and tremble. And Dasarath Maharaj did not say any word. Then his, then both were told, "Hey, why you are so late? Don't worry. Then maybe two today you are playing somewhere, so you are come too late. Don't worry. But anyhow, we are very thirsty, so give me water." But Dasarath Maharaj did not say any word. Then. Then they told why why you are worried. Don't worry. Then you are only our love, life and uh, soul. Then please give the water. Then that time the Shrat Maharaj told, Hey Munirish, hey Rishi, and I am not your son. And I am king of Ayodhya. My name is Dasarat. But unfortunately, and my uh, arrow uh, also suited your son and because I suited my son with this sound and so that is called Sabdavan and so I misused my archery and understand this so what to do and I brought your son's dead body and the water so first you drink the water that at that, that time they told Oh, you killed my son, so how possible you drink water from your hand? And, and they become very upset and they cried. And, and that time they also gave curse to Dasarat. Hey, hey Dasarat, you uh, don't know how uh, we are feeling the separation from our son. Hey, and we also give him out this body. In the same way, you will be also a suffer and separation from your son. In this way, and the, it <coughs> in this way, and that blind Rishi, Artha, and mother and father of and their son left body. And Dasarath Maharaj become very upset. And, but that Dasarath Maharaj uh, that time he was young and then he married uh, 360 queens 
and many years passed actually he forgot these things also eh? this curse of the rishis but karma will be what always with you eh? if you do good karma or bad karma karma always with you karma will never destroy eh? you have to suffer your previous karma eh? but Dasarath Maharaj he forgot he, this bad activities to and uh, he killed the son of blind races. So now coming in this way, many years passed, Dasarath Maharaj, he also become very upset because he had no any sons. Hey. But our Shastra also explained Dasarath Maharaj, uh, he had one also daughter, her name was Santa. But he uh, gave donation to uh, whom? Lumpad king. And that means Lumpad king, he adopted to Shanta and as like her daughter. That is called Dattaputri. Yeah, adopted and the adopted uh, daughter from the Sarat Maharaj. Then some uh, also when Shanta she become mature, then Shanta, a Lumpad king, he also married and Shanta's marriage ceremony with an Sringi Rishi. Yeah, this thing also mentioned in the Ramayana. So Dasarath Maharaj, and he asked his Gurudev how he will get his son uh, because he is now about to old age. Uh, so who will be the uh, next king after his departure and in, in his inherent mm -hmm. no sons so who will be the king mm -hmm. and in Ayodhya then Vasishtha Rishi told oh, you have to perform one jagna of son that Sanskrit word is Putrishti jagna and then <coughs> and that time Kosala, Koike and Sumitra, these three queens, they are very prominent queens of Dasarath Maharaj. And they also told, so why so late? And Gurudev, you can, uh, you also perform this fair sacrifice of son, and Putreshti Yagga. But Vasishtha Rishi told, and I can't do this, and this types of Jagna. And your, what is called, and son-in-law, Jamata, a single Rishi can perform this Putreshti Jagga. So you should call to single Rishi. Single Rishi may also perform this fire sacrifice um, of son, Putreshti Jagga. Then uh, Dasarath Maharaj, very humble, prayed to Lotus feet of single Rishi. Then single Rishi came in Ayodhya and he performed fire sacrifice of son Putrishti Yagga. In this Putrishti Yagga also one kind of special sutra is came. That Sanskrit word is Choru. Then Dasat Maharaj, he fit the half portion of the sweet rice and his prominent, prominent queen, what is his name? Kausala. And then half portion he gave to Kai Kai. Yeah. Then later Sumitra she came. So that time Koisola and Kai Kai also they gave half half portion to Sumitra. Then then when they took and ate this uh, special sweet rice churu, and that time they pregnant. Then after a couple after a few months they also gave birth and four sons. Kausala he gave a birth to Lord Ram and Koike she gave birth uh, Bharat and Sumitra she gave birth two sons that is called Lakshman and Shatrukuma. In this way four sons they also grew uh, grew up and uh, as like what is called a rising moon. Uh, then after a few years Rasat Maharaj put them in the ashram of Vashishta Rishi. This is called our Vedic culture. You have to 
go to the Guru's ashram, eh? Gurukul, and understand Gurukul, and you have to stay Guru ashram, that is Gurukul, and learn all Shastra, Ved, Puran, Upanishads, and also you are Kshatriya, you have to learn also all kinds of archery. So, Vasishtha Rishi, he gave all kinds of teaching to them. So, Ram, Lakshman, a Ram, Bharat, Lakshman and Satyaguna, they become very expert, all kinds of knowledge with them. And then they return back in the palace of Ajadhapuri. And, and after few months, then Vishamitra Rishi, he came and Vishamitra Rishi asked to Dasarat Maharaj, he gives your two sons, Ram and Lakshman. Because Ram and Laks, uh, they are very powerful, and so they have to come with in my ashram. Because in my ashram, some demons they disturb to my fire sacrifice. And, and especially Taraka, and Taraka, and that uh, Asuras, and female Asura Taraka, and she disturbs and so much in the ashram of the rishis. And, so Dasrat Maharaj, his his body will start to shake. How possible he will give them his son Ram and Lakshman? Because especially Ram and Lakshman is the heart and soul of Dasrat Maharaj. And so Dasrat Maharaj just he told you take my two sons, and gave to Bharat and Sutrugna. Vishamitra when he was going with Bharat and Sutrugna. And that time Vishamatra is thinking, these two uh, boys, uh, prince, and they are Rama Lakshman or not, for he, he also took test. So he asked to them, listen, and prince, and if you go the straight way, and understand, short, short straight way, short uh, way to, uh, very easy to uh, go my ashram. Uh, very quick you can, but on the way, and uh, some demons are there, so they will be attacked. You have to fight with them. Or uh, another is also a um, way that is called bypass way, little bit also a uh, uh, ring road to go in other way, but that way is what come and quite no one disturb to you, no demon anymore. And that time that they they told, okay, why you go to the stage? Eh? Why did you start uh, taking the ricks eh? of the demon and this? It is better to go to the ring ring road way. <laughs> no traffic, no nobody wants to disturb this thing. <laughs> then Vishamitra told, okay, these two son, the two prince is not Ram and Lakshman. Then also he returned back and told Dasarath Maharaj, I I want to give the two sons. Ram and Lakshman, but you give uh, another thing. You did, you gave your son Bharat and Shatrankar. Um, the Shat Maharaj he became very upset. Oh, how I will give my son Ram and Lakshman, especially Ramchandra, and um, he the heart and soul of the Shat Maharaj. But Vishamitra, Vasishtha Rishi advised to the Shat Maharaj, and um, the Vishamitra Bish is taking you to sons, must be some reason and some auspiciousness will come. And so don't worry, he should give to two sons, Ram and Lakshman, in his hand. So according to the instruction of Vasishtha Gurudev, eh, Guru, Guru Vasishtha, then again the Srat Maharaj, he gave his two sons, Ram and Lakshman, in the hand of Vishamitra. Uh, then Vishamitra took in his ashram and, and on the way the demon, Tadakasura, sea demon, and she also disturbs. Then Ram and Lakshman, very easy to kill, to and her and others are associators. And in this way, Ram and Lakshman, they killed many demons in, <coughs> in there. Then Vishamitra Rishi told, please come with me and proceed to Janakpuri. Eh? Uh, then on the way, also he saw one stone. Eh? Then Ramchandra just he 
what is called stepped his foot on the stone that the stone manifested in the form of one very nice beautiful and ladies her name is called the Ahilla and, and she also uh, then and that the place then Vishamitra also explained how Ahilla she become the stone and this story also explained very nicely and because Gautam Rishi's wife her name is Ahilla and Gautam uh, once and what is called Indra who is the king of heaven Indra and also Chandra and they also came in the ashram of Gautam Rishi to pretending to read and as like a student and but they so much intoxicated with the beauty of Ahilla so once early in the morning at Brahma Murtha, that time Gautam Rishi when he went to take bath in the river and that time Indra disguised the form of Gautam Rishi and entered in the room of Ahila and outside Indra he was a eh, outside Chandra he was guarding but anyhow when Gautam Rishi very quickly returned back then he saw the eh, Chandra he was sitting he eh, was eh, outside of his wife's room then Gautam Rishi with his dhyana Mm -hmm. uh, meditation he realized oh they are stupid nonsense then he then Gautam Rishi took one deer skin and bitterly beat to Chandra moon mm -hmm. uh, so now you see the on the moon also black spot mm -hmm. so our Shastra is saying that black spot means Gautam Rishi bitterly beat to Chandra with the deer skin mm -hmm. and the black spot is the same mm -hmm. uh, and then Indra, when Indra realized Guru is coming, then he also very quickly came out and from the room of Ahila and then and ran and also ran away. That time Gautam Rishi also gave cars and to him. All his body should be as like eyes and covered with eyes. So for this regard. Indra's one name is called Sahasra Lochan. Sahasra means thousands, Lochan means eyes. And so Indra's also one name is called Sahasra Lochan. Understand? This story is coming. Then Gautam Rishi also gave curse his wife Ahila. Ahila told this is not my fault. I don't know. Anything. And when they came in my place, I don't know anything. But anyhow, Rishi was very angry. So for this regard, Gautam Rishi just uh, gave curse, he should become the stone and Pathar mm -hmm. Then Ahilla Devi told, how will deliver from this uh, stone? That time Gautam Rishi told, in Treta Yug, when Lord Ramchandra will come and by the step of Lord Ramchandra, the man put dust of Lord Ramchandra, he will deliver from this stone. But that time was Sattva Jugas. And Ramchandra, he comes in Treta Jug. So that we get Sattva, Dapar, and Treta, then Kali. This is called the words. Uh, sequence, of sequence of Jugas. Sattva means one. Yes. Uh, Sattva Jugas. Second, Dapar Jugas, do it. Second. Uh, treta means three. And uh, Kali means four. So Satta, Satta, Dapur, Treta Koli. So that means middle is what? Another one Jug, Dapur Jug. And, and so many thousand, thousand years. She must be also wait for Ramchandra. And so I let all how possible is separation from you and wait for Ramchandra. And, and that time Gautam Rishi is told, don't worry. And according my, and Tapasya, Yoga Siddhi, I change the sequence of the jugals. Then according to his tapasya, eh, his tapasya, he also changed the sequence of jugals. Then eh, Shatta jugals one, mm -hmm. then Trita jugals has come. Mm -hmm. eh, look, Dapar, sequence is Dapar jugal. Yeah. Eh, but Trita jug has come. Mm -hmm. Then Dapar jug, then Kali jug. Now you same sequence is going on. Eh, Shatta, Treta, 
दापर कोली एक्चुअल बिफोर इज वर्ड सत्य दापर त्रेता कोली ये बात गौतम ऋषि अकॉर्डिंग ही जो ओन एंड शादन एंड भजन एंड मिस्टिक पावर ही आल्सो चेंज द सीक्वेंस ऑफ जुगास सो रामचंद्र he came in Trita Yug and they saw Ramchandra when he uh, what is called, gave his footstep on the stone and then Ahila she also free from the curse mm -hmm. and manifested and his origin form and and do pranam to Lord Ramchandra and in this way Ahila Uddhar Katha and Ahila she also delivered and in this way then Vishamitra took Ram and Lakshman in Janakpuri. Yeah. And that time also Sita Devi, she become mature yeah. and she, her marriage ceremony is, yeah, is <coughs> what is called festival and yeah, going on. But Janak Maharaj, he also took vow if anybody to break the bow of Lord Shiva and then Sita Devi she will be offer the garlands in the neck of that bridegroom and actually that bow and offered by Lord Shiva to uh, Parshuram and Parshuram, Parashuram and he also killed the all the Kshatriyas those are as like demons and 21 times he killed the all the Kshatriyas king and, and with his what is called bow and arrow and also axe kutha and then he also went to Manda, what is called Mandachar Parvat and to perform his bhajan and sadhana and that time Lord Shiva told to Parshuram because Parshuram is the disciple of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva, two disciples, very prominent disciples. One is called Parshuram, or another also Ravan. Understand? Ravan is the uh, prominent disciple, disciple of Lord Shiva. And in our Shastra, also Raman, very nice. And the Ravan, he was Brahmana. Uh, Ravan, he was Brahmana. Uh, and he decided many stops to think. And especially Ravan, he wrote uh, one Sib song, Sib Giti. What did he say? Shiva Giti. Giti means song. Yeah. And that means glorification of Lord Shiva. And, and he sang very nicely with rhythm. And if you see Ramayan, then you surprise how uh, Ravan, he recited the stops to to Lord Shiva. Yeah. Understand? And that time Lord Shiva also had direct manifested from his Shiva Linga and start to dance. And sometimes Ravan, he was very powerful. He also holds the whole, uh, what is called, um, mountain and, and Kailas with his own left hand and this way. <laughs> Ravan, he was very powerful and he got many kinds of mystic power. He performed hard austerities and this way. Actually, he was very, very pious person. But later he associated with the demons. Then his mind changed. And in this matter, many persons very pious, good, these, these things. But he associated with the bad person. Then his life completely what? Ruined. And understand? You can see in this material. Many people also very nice, pious and doing bhajan, sadhan, these, these way. But with the association of stupid nonsense person, then his life completely hurt after that time. Opposite way. Drinking alcohol, associated with stupid nonsense guys, and you do this. In the same way, Ravan, his early, early his life, and eh, was very nice, beautiful, those things. And he associated with Kartavijarjan, one demon association. And who associated with the ladies and do these things. And for this regard, Ravan, he became stupid nonsense. Uh, <laughs> demonic, demonic idea kind. Uh, 
So, Lord Shiva very pleased with uh, Ravana. Eh? Understand this? Eh? And that time, when Parshuram eh, went to take eh, the bhajan and sadhana Mandhachal Parvat, mountain of Mandhachal, that time Lord Shiva suggested mm, to Parshuram or oh, this bow, and uh, you can give two persons. And, but those who are best person and and you can give because they can they can utilize this my bow and two persons you can give my one disciple that means your god brother Ravan or another pious king Janakrish at that time Purshuram is thinking why you will give this bow and of my master Lord Shiva because maybe demon demon Ravan will be misused. Mm -hmm. So it is better I have to donate this bow to Janakrish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Understand? Vidyaraj and Janak. His name is Siraddha Janak. And in the dance, many Janakrishi's name coming. Mm -hmm. Same name. Mm -hmm. But Janakrishi, actually, Sita Devi's father's, father's name, Siraddha Janak. Vidyaraj Janak. Vidyaraj Raj Janak. Siraddha Janak. And so now come in this way. But Janagrisi, when he got this Dhanus, when a bow, and this, this bow's name is called Hara Dhanu. Hara Dhanu means this bow belongs to Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva's name is called Hara and Har. So for this, their bow's name is called Hara Dhanu. And so Janak Maharaj. He took that the bow and he took vow if anybody okay, to break this bow, then my daughter Sita Devi, she will marry that person. And, and once Ravan also came and, and tried to pull that the and bow. And because Ravan was thinking, oh my god brother Purusharam, he did not give me my guru's this bow. So maybe I, I also steal this thing. Yeah. So once Ravana, he came in the palace of um, uh, Janakrishi and he tried to pull and uh, tried to lift the other bow. Yeah. And then what happened? And he fell down and also what is called skip or girge crush this crush he also heard um, what do you what do you say Ravan he also heard, uh, under the bow eh? he, eh? trapped. he trapped in the bow he cannot come out eh? this way. Uh, and as like small as like small mouse and eh? pressed by the uh, stone and mouse cannot come out. Mm -hmm. huh? ching, 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 ching. In the same way, Ravan he also are pressed by the mm -hmm. trap of the bow and cannot come out. Mm -hmm. and, and in the meantime, Sita Devi, she was very small baby, mm -hmm. and just she also hold that the bow mm -hmm. and with her left hand mm -hmm. and she pulled. Then Ravan mm -hmm. ran away. So Ravan he he mm -hmm. remember how the powerful this bow. And so all the powerful person came in, in Sita Devi's marriage ceremony to break the um, that bow, but Ravan did not come because Ravan he knew uh, this guy no one can break it. Uh, mm -hmm. and so this thing and many kings also came with their bow with their power and showing their power potency, but no one and no one can also have to hold the bow. Eh? Ravan explained this way. And many kings they came, but they, they could not. And, and then Ramchandra he came and Ramchandra had easily just his left hand hold that the bow and and then the bow also had broken two pieces. And big sound also came. Eh? As like thunderbolt sound coming. Then then Purshuram who performed 
Rajan Sadhan Mandachal, the sound coming. Then you go, what the sound is coming? Oh, the sound is coming one who broke uh, my Guru's, what is it called? Bow, there's a Haradhan. And then, then Parshuram become very angry because he was Khatriya. And then he asked to Dasarat, he asked to Janak Maharaj, who broke my Guru's? That time Lakshman, and he joked with him. Yeah, you know, what happened? That is your old mm -hmm. eh, bow, <laughs> and someone hold and broke into what happened? Mm -hmm. eh? Then he become very angry. Parshanam become very angry. You think this is old? This is my guru's Shivji's bow. Who? And eh? mm -hmm. I will kill. I will kill them. Lakshman also jokes. Why you kill? Why are you showing these things? Mm -hmm. And and then his anger also going, going, going very up, up, up. And there's many very nice beautiful this story also. And Ramayana also explained this way. Then finally Ramchandra he told, eh, who I am the offender of Radhi because I broke this eh, bow. Then eh, that time with Rohe, I I will give heavy punishment to you. Eh, what is your name? So you are my name is Ram. Eh? You take my name? My name is Parshuram. The Ram Chandra, you, your name is long. Parasu Ram. Uh, uh, my name is your only Ram. Small. So I am your servant. Eh? So please give much. Yes. Eh? When Ram Chandra told this, that then Parshuram he told, okay, I am giving another bow to you. And eh? if you put the arrow, eh? Then I will say, you are Ram. Which Ram you are? I will say. And that then Ramchandra, he took his bow and arrow. Then Pursuram, he became very realized. Pursuram became very surprised. Oh, he is Bhagavan Ram. But he is already an arrow in the bow. And that is why I have to pay, kill to someone, shoot someone. That time Pursuram, what is called, applies. Eh? Apologize in his own activities, told, okay, don't kill to me, but you to kill all my tapasya, fruit of tapasya, tapasya fall, mm -hmm. eh, they say. Then Ramachandra, he destroyed all his fruits of tapasya, mm -hmm. and then Purusharam again returned back his place. And, and then the Shrat Maharaj, he arranged his daughter Sita Devi's marriage ceremony with Ramachandra. And then also another daughter, Urmila, Lakshman, he married with Urmila mm -hmm. and then uh, Sutakirti mm -hmm. and Mandavi, they also married with Bharat and Shatya. Mm -hmm. uh, in this way, very nicely, all brides and bridegrooms, then Ram, Lakshman, Bharat, Shatrughna, and also uh, Sita Devi, Urmila, Mandavi, and Sutakirti, all they return back in Ayodhya, and all the residents of Ayodhya, they become very happy, and they all celebrate very nice, beautiful celebration, and understand this. Then after a few months, then the Sarat Maharaj is thinking, Ram is very and popular, and all the subjects of Ayodhya, they also attract you with, Lord, with Ram. So, the Samhari thing, I am now become old. I don't know how long will be in this material or when I will die, who knows. So Ram have to take charge my Singhasan. Yeah. So the Sarat Maharaj, he gave this proposal to his Guru, Vashishta. Then Vashishta told, okay, this is good idea. Yeah. So what's the Sigram? What will do? And is anything auspicious? Don't delay. Do now. Yeah. Tomorrow is so tomorrow is the superaction of species day. And so tomorrow you have to and understand how to Lord Ramjandra will become the and then Dasrat Maharaj also according to the instruction of Guru Vasishta, he declared in front of all his ministers the tomorrow early in the one morning Ramchandra to the king of Ayodhya and his Raj Abhishek did that. 
But that time, that time also Bharat and Satyabhana was not in Ayodhya. They also went to their house of what is called mat maternal uncle's house, huh? and maternal uncle's house. Then, then when Ramchandra heard this, Ramchandra became very upset. Yeah, how possible? I will become the king of Ayodhya, and especially when we born at a time. Then four brothers we bought at we were so born at a time, and our marriage ceremony also at a time. Then our here is not my son, eh, not not my two brothers specially. What is his name? Bharat and Sutrugno. How possible I will become king of Ayodhya? Then, but Guru Vasistha he told, "Oh, tomorrow is the super excellent auspicious day." Then, and if you not do this, then maybe after many years, if you will get. That types of super excellent auspicious day. So Dasarath Maharaj told, "No, tomorrow I'll be the one." Everything you also are yoga may happen. Yoga may perform in this way. Yeah. <coughs> Then, uh, so this message also spread all over the and uh, Ayodhya. Then, then all Rishi Munis and uh, and all the residents of Ayodhya. Who was living very far? They are coming in Ayodhya to take in darshan of Lord Ramchandra's Raj Abhishek. Yeah, Ramana very nicely also and uh, explained this way. Even the blind man, lame man, even the all the demigod and demigods manifested from the form of human being, they are coming in Ayodhya Puri to uh, to take darshan Lord Ramchandra's Raj Abhishek because Bhagwan and uh, he has come as like. And Bamandev he appeared, and all the demigods and demigods also appeared in the form of human being and taking darshan to um, Bamandev. In the same way, all Rishi Munis and all the demigods, demigods and uh, manifesting the form of human being, they have come um, in Ajitha Puri for the taking darshan of Ramchandra's Raj Abhishek, and, and whole Ajitha Puri very nicely decorated. And, Many kinds of what is called and lightning and flowers and and all the singers they are singing everybody's heart completely what oh my God and this is true Bhagwan he is now going to become the king of Ayodhya and everybody and every single and town cities and villages very nicely decorated and. And the Sir Maharaj also arranged in their giving donation to everybody, and clothes, ornaments, money, what you will need, because his son Ramchandra will be the king of Ayodhya, and everybody had melted, and with taking the name of Ram. And who who does not want to take the name of Ram? Will follow this. And who does not want to take the name of Ram? And This is true. In everybody's heart also are melted. Ram, 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 and all Ajodhya Puri is also and very nicely decorated. And Ram and Sita, she also came. She, they also came on the roof of the palace and looking how Ajodhya Puri decorated, especially in night time. And as like in India, if you go and in the Deepavali, have you been in Deepavali? Yeah. You can see in the India every cities. And very nice to look as like Western country and eh, decorated the Christmas and eh? one month they also decorated very nicely in the same way Ajodhya Puri very nicely decorated eh? and and everybody's heart melted and everybody also singing eh? Ram Lila Katha and this way then eh? and especially what is name K K she become very happy K K she is thinking. Ramchandra is not different from her son Bharat. And Koi ki always is thinking Ram is not different from my son Bharat. And Koi ki she loved to Ram more than her son Bharat. And our Shastra also explain. And once Ramchandra when his baby, and then Ramchandra asks uh, to Koi ki, "Oh mother Koi ki, I want benediction from you. But what benediction do you want?" But when I will become king, that time you ask to benediction from my father and Dasarath. And 
I have to go to the forest for 14 years and your son Bharat is the king of Ayodhya. Well, how possible? Then Ramchandra, so if I if would I go to the forest, how will I kill the demons? Eh, so you have to eh, help to me, assist to me, my this Lila. Eh, so now coming in the same way, Jogamaya see arranged. And eh, when Ramchandra Obisek about to going on, all this immunity they prepared Ramchandra Raj Obisek. Eh, just a couple seconds. Eh, in the meantime, Mantra, eh, the maid servant of Kaiki, eh, her heart so much also itching, eh, so much jealousy with Ramchandra. Eh. She does not, she, she does not want the Ram would be the king of Ayodhya. She is thinking, eh, the Bharat should be the king of Ayodhya. Eh. Then she also gives the suggestion advice to KK. Hey KK, why you are very happy? You give so much donation to others and the Obisek of Ramchandra. Then she said, why not? Hey, Ram is non different from my son hey, Bharat. Hey, and Ram he has so much love and affection with me. Hey, who does not like to Ram? Hey, so in the but mantra she also changed the mind of Kweke. Eh? She told, do you know, when Ram will be king, then everybody will be say, the Kausala, she is called Raja Mata. Raja Mata means eh, mother of king. And everybody will, you will become the maid servant of Raja Mata, Kweke. Eh? So what is the result you will get? Eh? This is the nature of the human being. Eh? And your son and you will be what? As like beggar. And these things. Then according to Jogma, then Koskoiker mind also changed. Well, how, what will do now? Well, one, uh, one point. But well, now we have to do a couple of minutes. Which couple of minutes Ramchandra he is going to king? Uh, of Ajitha Raju say. Then Mantra till a couple of minutes this is a long time also. One second. That's what is your Blink of eyes, everything can can change. And eh? understand within a couple of seconds, everything can change. And now also a couple ma a couple minutes. minutes. So why you are thinking this? Well, what to do now? That time mantra she to she also told, I remind to you. When you was young and Dasrat Maharaj and also uh, promised to you give to benediction house. Two benediction, but that time you did not take. You told when you are need, I will take from you. Okay. So now this this two benediction you have to take from King Dasrat Maharaj. What that? You one benediction you call you you tell to him, J Ramchandra have to go to the forest fourteen years, mm -hmm. and my son Bharat will become king of youth. Mm -hmm. Then everything will be what change and solve all your problems will solve. Okay. So this is how the heart is the association of bad association and the sun law. Then then mind completely changed within a couple of seconds. And then she also and changed her clothes, dirty clothes she wear and went to the managriha. Managriha means what is that? And kopagriha means managriha kopagriha. And she called Dasarat Maharaj. Dasarat Maharaj came and she asked, yeah, just now I want to benediction which you promised to me to give. Then what benediction? They want benediction you give me. Ram have to go to the forest for 14 years and my son will be king of Ayodhya. Then Dasarat Maharaj became very upset. What you are saying? You don't know. But I am saying this is true. And, and what I am saying? This is true. And, and Dasarad Maharaj told, No, 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 don't do this. And why Ram he will go to the forest? And what is his fault? And 
this thing. But she told, no, I want the two bendis. She was, she was too much of a stubborn heart. Uh, eh? Wow, this thing. Those are my become very upset. Here, about to time is coming. So, uh, what is your Raj Obisek? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then, Rishi Muni told my sister Rishi, told to Ram, Ram, you have to go. So, bring your father. Without your father, and how possible we will also perform this Raj Obisek? And, and Raj, Raj Muk of the crown put on your mm -hmm. head. So you should go and call your father. So Ramchandri came in the um, room of Kaike. Then the Sarat Maharaj became very upset and shedding tears, just bent on his head. He did not say anymore. Then Ramchandra asked to Kaike, Mother, what happened? Why my father upset and shedding tears? What happened? That time Koike told Ram very small things. Your father once uh, told me, I will give two benediction. I told, when I have need, I will take from him. So now my chance has come. So I told your father, small benediction. Uh, today is very super excellent, auspicious day. So I am thinking, I take the two benediction from your father, the, sort of, the two benediction. Very simple also and small things also. Not big things. Then Ramchandra told what things? My father don't want to give. Your father want to give or not? Don't not speaking anything. Just shedding tears. Well, what is that? Hey, Ram, you have to go to the forest for fourteenth years, and my son Bharat will king of Ajodhya. <laughs> then Ramchandra very happy. Ramchandra told Mother, Oh, very nice, beautiful this bending. And why my father? I will fulfill the desires of my father. Rupula Riti Sadachali I Prana Jai Buru Bachuna Najai. I will fulfill the desires of my father. Don't worry. Then Ram Lakshman Bharat, a Ram Lakshman and Sita. They proceed to the forest. And then uh, Dasrat Maharaj cannot tolerate the separation from Ram and he just uttered the name Ram, Ram, Ram and left his body. And when he was left his body, also same sin, sin understand? Mm -hmm. When he was young, he killed the son, son blind. of blind Rishi mm -hmm. and Sindhu. Mm -hmm. and and Andhamuni's son, Sindhu, his name was Sindhu, just I remember. And, that thing. and also they gave cards, hey Dasarat Maharaj, you leave your body and, and separation from your son. And, you will be give up your body as like, and, and if you take out the fish from the water, the fish also are shaking his body and give up his body. In the same way, you will give up your body. So, Dasarat Maharaj, just that same scene coming. Because that curse has now come. That karma. Though eh? Dasarat Maharaj eternal sweet or Lord Ram has no karma for But showing this Leela. Understand? Those who are the eternal sweet Lord of Lord, they have no karma for eh? But doing this Leela. So, Dasarat Maharaj, that time, same Leela is done. Same scene is coming, and eh? because this is eh? the blind Rishi gave the cars, and tarap tarap karke marega, tarap tarap karke mara, tarap tarap karke mara, and you will die with the second your body. So Ram Dasarat Maharaj came to tolerate from separation from his son, and then he left his body. Ram Chandra he went to the forest, and. Eh? Then Bharat, he was staying in his maternal house. Bharat and Satrugraha returned back and he heard this all this story. Then Bharat became very upset with his mother and also Mantra. Then Satrugraha became very angry. Satrugraha, when he heard, so everything also had happened with Mantra. Then Satrugraha also cut the hair of Mantra and dragged and bitterly with 
तेन भरत खेन भरत टोल मंथरा ए भरत टोल शत्रुघ्न डोंट बी टू हार्ड इफ सी विल डाई देन रामचंद्र विल आल्सो गिव अप अस बिकॉज रामचंद्र विल ही विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट वन हु किल द लेडीज है आई कैन आल्सो आई वाज थिंकिंग फर्स्ट दे आई हैव टू किल माय मदर बिकॉज माय मदर शी इज द हर एंड took this vow these things as my mother is the cause of and eh, all the distress of my and eh, dynasty these things ramchandra went to the forest what is why it is only the cause of my mother but when i remember the nature of my brother ram so i just anyhow also kept patient eh, this way then anyhow was history she pacified to harat and satrugna and they also arranged the sort maharaj dead body funeral uh, what is called cremation cremation these things eh? and then after this funeral cremation then was his story see he also told to harat your mother took um, benediction from your father so you have to become the king of ajodhya eh? anybody have to sit on the Singhasan of Ajitha. Otherwise, an enemies will come and attack Ajitha Puri. Then Bharat told, "So how possible I will become the king of Ajitha? Only Ram Chandra, my brother Ram, will be king of Ajitha. Then no one can sit in in the throne of Ajitha. And he is qualified person. And then Bharat told, 'We have to go to the forest and return back, my brother ram then bharat satrugna and three mothers that mean kausalya koike sumitra and all the ministers and sumantra all they also proceed to the forest in chitrakoot and they met with lord ramchandra and and they very nice beautiful discussion how ramchandra would return back to ajodhya but finally ramchandra he did not come back then bharat ji he took ramchandra's wooden Shoes and put in the Singhasan of Ajodhya, and Bharat he was staying little bit far from Ajodhya, that place where Nandi was. Because Bharat he took vow, if Ramchandra did not return back to Ajodhya, also I will not go to Ajodhya. Then he was staying little bit far from Nandi Gram, and he was staying there as like and Ramchandra's and person as like Sanasi, and he is staying in there. And from there, he also uh, had management and uh, to kingdom Ayodhya with his minister. This way, then this katha is going on. Gur Premanandi, Agi katha. Tomorrow now four thirty to go. Gur Premanandi. Thank you, Sri Lakshmi. Thank you. Thank you. बड़ो राम कथा की जय भगवान राम चंद्र की रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तो पावन सीता राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तो पावन सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम कहिए विधि रखे राम ताहि विधि रहे विधि के विधान जान हने लब सोइए सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम कहिए जिंदगी के डोर सो हाथ बिना नाच के तू अकेला नहीं प्यारे राम तेरा साथ सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम कही बड़ो सीता राम की जय 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 नेक्स्ट कथा गुरु कंटिन्यू थैंक यू ओके जय 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 यू ट्रांसलेट पुर्तगीज और नॉट यस यस आई चूज लाइक दिस लोगों दे Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. My heart is blessing all to you. Thank you, Guru Dev. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare Bol. Nice to see you again. Hare Krishna. Pranams, Guru Dev. <laughs>